If you are the owner of a stock, you also own a corresponding part of that company. But there are also more complex financial products that you might have heard about, such as options and leveraged products. These investment products are not suitable for the beginning investor because they come with a higher risk of losses. However, we would like to briefly introduce them so that you better understand the risk involved. Derivatives are investment products that derive their value from an underlying asset or product, such as a stock or commodity. Experienced traders can use derivatives to speculate on price movements or to hedge risk. Although derivatives can in some cases achieve a high return, they typically also come with high costs and risk. Options are a common example of derivatives. If you have a certain expectation about how the price of a stock will change, you can trade on this belief using an option contract. As the name suggests, options give you the right to buy or sell an underlying asset like a stock for a fixed price at a predetermined date in the future. A call option gives you the right to buy the underlying product, while a put option gives you the right to sell. Suppose the price of a stock is 20 euros, but you expect an increase in the upcoming month. You can then buy a call option, giving you the right to buy this stock later at a predetermined price. Say you choose an option that gives you the right to buy 100 stocks for 21 euros each in two months' time. To obtain this right, you pay a premium of 1 euro 50, for example. This premium must be multiplied by a factor, which is the amount of stocks the option covers, often 100. If you purchase this option contract, the amount you invest would therefore be equal to 150 euros. If the price of the stock rises to 25 euros at the end of the two months, you can exercise the option and open a position for 100 stocks at a price of 21 euros per stock. As the market rate is higher, you could directly obtain a profit by selling the stocks. Per share, you would then receive 25 euros from the sale. Taking the 21 euro purchase price and 1 euro 50 premium into account, the profit comes down to 2 euro 50 per stock or 250 euros total. Had you used the initial investment of 150 euros to buy the shares directly, you would have got returns over 7 shares instead of 100 and profited less from the increase. In addition to options, you can also trade futures with Digiro. Futures are standardised contracts which, like options, are made between two parties at a fixed price and expiry date. Unlike options, nearly all future contracts are settled by cash payments, instead of the physical delivery of the underlying product at expiration. Also, the contract size tends to be bigger when compared to options. Say you think a stock index will go up. It is currently priced at 600 euros and you consider a future contract with a 200 euros multiplier. The whole value of this future contract would be 120,000 euros. When trading futures, you do not need to buy the whole amount, but typically put down an initial margin to enter into the contract. Say there is a margin rate of 15% you would get 120,000 euros exposure to the underlying by making a deposit of at least 18,000 euros as margin to your account. So with the future contract, you can get a large exposure for a small initial margin. Unlike options, futures are settled on a daily basis. This means that if the future has gained three points at the end of the trading day, you will receive three times the 200 euros multiplier for an amount of 600 euros. Do note that because the contract size is bigger than the margin, it is also possible to lose more than your deposit with futures. There are also leveraged products which are issued by financial institutions that have varying names and characteristics. 
With these products, you often borrow money from the product issuer in order to trade with increased exposure to an underlying asset and as such create a leverage effect. These products, in general, bear high costs within them, which are charged by the issuer. Examples of these products are warrants and certificates. These products, as well as options and futures, are not suitable for the beginning investor because they are complex, volatile by nature and risky. We've only covered the very basics in this lesson and if you wish to trade these products, it is strongly recommended to learn more about them before you start. In the next lesson, we will go over what determines the prices of financial instruments, why they move and how to differentiate between the different prices.